Amazon may soon have a gadget for your living room. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Amazon could soon sell a streaming media box for televisions. According to a new report from Recode, Amazon is gearing up to sell a box in March that would stream online video, much like a Roku or Apple TV. Now we've heard about Amazon working on such a thing for a while now, but we may finally see it unveiled soon. There have also been reports about Amazon working on a living room game system and it just acquired a game publishing studio. So it makes sense that this box could stream video and games. We'll have to wait and see. YouTube has made a few changes to its layout to make it easier to manage playlists. The desktop site will look more like mobile apps. For example, there is this three-line icon next to the logo that places subscriptions and playlist options in the center of the screen, and playlists that you've liked or created are in the guide. Personal playlists also have a better editing screen. Everyone may be buzzing about WhatsApp, but let's not forget about BlackBerry Messenger. The folks at BlackBerry want you to know that they're still hip and they know what's hot these days, stickers. That's right, the BBM app is launching sticker packs to keep up with all the other messaging apps that have been using stickers for a while now. These stickers will be in the BBM shop, some for sale and others free. Microsoft is pushing out software updates for the Xbox One game system, but it's asking customers to test the update for bugs before it releases the changes to everyone. Microsoft is inviting a number of Xbox Live members to preview these features and offer feedback, and they'll continue to be testers for future updates. Sprint is beginning to improve network coverage for subscribers by letting phones make calls and send texts over a Wi-Fi network. Right now, only two Android phones will be able to do this, the Samsung Galaxy Mega and the Galaxy S4. Now, these phones will get software updates automatically to enable the service in the coming weeks. And Sprint will expand this Wi-Fi service to more devices throughout the year. And to cap things off, check out how one company wants to make a selfie more useful. Ticket Leap is an app for creating the selfie ticket. It's an event ticket that has your face on it, and you get in by showing that it's you on the ticket instead of having someone scan a barcode. It's meant to be a fun way to be more social at small community events. Obviously, this wouldn't work so well for a huge concert or baseball game. If you want to create events that require selfies for entry, go to TicketLeap.com. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details at CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.